Hi, this is Lindsay Mann with cloud9stampers.com and today I'm going to be sharing with you a fun masking technique that you can do with your cards. So let's get started. To do this masking technique, we're working with four colors, Coastal Cabana, Flori Flamingo, Mango Melody, and Granny Apple Green. These are all from the Brights collection and I love this combo together. What I have done is taken the small flower punch and I have made my own mask. You can do this with any die or any punch. So once we have this, we're going to layer it over a piece of paper that's the exact same size. This just makes sure that it's easy to keep it in place so that it doesn't slide around. Next, I'm going to take my sponge dauber and I'm going to ink up the dauber and I'm gonna go right over top of my flower. And I'm going to go ahead and repeat that with every one of the colors. Once you have the sponging done, you're going to line up the mask again. And this is where it really helps to have it cut the same size as the paper behind. You're going to lay it down and then you're going to take a stamp this one says friend and you're going to ink it up in the same color that we laid down with our mask and you're going to repeatedly stamp the word onto your masked image and then just keep repeating cleaning your stamp and then repeat colors so now we're switching to blue and keep going all the way down the image So once you've got the stamping done, you can remove the mask and it reveals that really cool masked background that you've created. Next, I'm going to bring in a ruler and I'm going to line it up with their flowers and we're going to create a stitched effect. So I'm just going to use my grid paper and line it up with the edge of my card. And then that makes it easy to be able to line it up with the lines on the grid paper so that you've got an, uh, something to kind of help make sure that it's straight. So I'm just putting a dashed line in and I'm going to repeat that all the way down with all of the flowers. Next, I'm going to use the pen and I'm just going to add a few dots into my dashes just to kind of finish off that design. And now I'm gonna bring in my greeting. So this is using the Hello Friend from Seriously the Best. And I'm going to use Memento ink to stamp my black image. Next I'm bringing in the You Are Seriously the Best from that same set. And I'm going to bring in a scrap of Flirty Flamingo and I'm just going to stamp this along the bottom. And then I will use my snips and I'm going to free cut that out. Just like that. Next, I'm going to bring in my mini dimensionals and I'm gonna add them to the back of our little greeting. Just like that. And the last thing we're going to do to embellish this card is bring in our rhinestones. And we're going to embellish each one of the lines that we've created here to um, just kind of fill it in. So I'm going to add a rhinestone over one of the dash spots. And we're going to finish it off with a black layer. So this one's been cut 1 8 inch bigger than our white cardstock. And we're using extra thick Whisper White. So again, line up the edges and use a bone folder to get your edge. Then use snail adhesive to assemble. And there we have our finished card. So again, use any mask that you like. You can bring in dies or punches that you have and really experiment with it. Have fun. 